Hi, I'm Adam Archer with the Jazz Foundation Web UI team. In this video, I'm going to show you a few of the new features you'll see in the CLM 2012 release. The first things I'd like to show you are our improvements to the navbar and the mini dashboard. As you can see, when you scroll your browser window down, your navbar now remains sticky at the top of the window. This means that you'll always have access to your home menu, your component menus, and your search functionality. The big change we've made this year in the mini dashboard is to make it fixed height so it always fits within your viewport. This means you can scroll your mini dashboard content independently from the rest of the web UI and vice versa. We've also made the mini dashboard resizable to provide a bit more flexibility. Another exciting new feature in CLM 2012 is the ability for users to create personal dashboards out of templates that are contributed by the products in their application group. This allows users to create personal dashboards that are initially populated based on the capabilities and projects that they're interested in. The selections I've made here, for example, will give me a dashboard showing some of the work item data that's interesting to me in the Jazz Foundation project area. We've had recently viewed sections in our capability menus for a couple of years now. However, until now, they've only been persistent for a single browser session. As soon as you moved to a different server in the application group, they were lost, and you couldn't get back to the resources you've been working with. As of CLM 2012, the content of these menus has now persisted on the server. I've just returned to the Jazz Foundation project area, and I have quick access to the Web UI team dashboard that I frequently use, as well as all of the work items and work item queries that I've been visiting in the last couple of days. Another new feature in dashboards in this release is the addition of a stable details section to both project and team dashboards. This provides users a consistent place to find some key information about the project or team area, such as the status of its plan, the timeline of the release, or some of its members. The All Project Dashboards page has been completely redesigned in this release, making it much easier to find the team dashboard you're looking for. You can either browse through the list of teams using the tree view, or simply type what you're looking for using the filter box on the top right. Two new viewlets have been added to the widget catalog for dashboards in the CLM 2012 release. The first is the recently viewed viewlet. This shows all the same recently viewed information that's available from your capability menus, except that it combines all artifact types across the server. As you can see here, the view that is showing me some of the dashboards I visited recently, in addition to my user profile. The second new viewlet is the server connection status viewlet. This shows some basic information to give me an idea of the quality of my connection to the server. The last two features I'd like to show you today involve integrating our dashboard widgets with non-JAZZ environments. One way to do this is through the use of OpenSocial. Any widget you see in a JAZZ dashboard can now be exported as an OpenSocial gadget with all of its preferences already intact. You can then add that gadget to any OpenSocial compliant container, such as iGoogle, or in this case, Jira. Once the gadget has been added to the Jira catalog, I'm able to add it to the JIRA dashboard. And once I log in, the gadget is pre-configured to show the exact same results that it showed in the JAZZ dashboard. Another way to export the widget as an open social gadget is to do so directly out of the widget catalog. Using this method, the user will have to configure the gadget in the open social container after adding it. Another way to export widgets for external use is through raw HTML. This allows you to embed the gadget in any page you like, such as a wiki topic. The exported viewlet will continue to show live data out of the Jazz server outside of the context of the dashboard. This is great for seeing quick status in different contexts. You can also configure a viewlet to be exported directly from the widget catalog. You'll be able to change the settings of the viewlet live in line in the widget catalog, and then get the code necessary to embed that in an external page. Thanks for watching. I hope you like what you've seen.